what's going on YouTube it's April 31st here um, I'm here to show you how you can download you know the emulators or any apps and stuff you want on um, Xbox dev mode so right now we're gonna try to download RetroArch which one I don't I don't have as you can see and uh, it's pretty simple you just you just gotta get the on uh, the file um, um, you just gotta um, get it from the website first that's the first thing you do is get get RetroArch from the website so right now I'm on RetroArch right now and then you can just go ahead and um you can either press download I think it's some uh, on the bottom nah you gotta go to download yeah you just gotta go to download and um what you're gonna do is you're gonna look for Xbox um it should be yeah X, it, it gonna say Xbox series and Xbox one and so what you wanna do you wanna press click on this link and then you want to click on the Visual Studio Runtime link because you'll need this too. And it's down. It is downloading. Um. Why that finished loading up? Um. And then. You press that, and then those two files should be should be right right there. Cause if I go and open it up, it should be right there, it's, and it says today. Now then, what you want to do is you want to pimp on back to um pimp on back to the Xbox. And you want to go to make sure you go to remote access settings and then right, right under authentication uh, it's going to say set username and password and then you can set it to anything you want I already did it but you can just set it to anything you want because you're going to need that to log in and keep in mind of the link underneath enable xbox de device portal um you can use either one to um, get in because they're gonna um you gonna I'm a I'ma try it right here. Um I'ma try to log do it. Cause I already did it on this one. Let me try to let me see. So you gonna you gonna have to put the link in. Sorry. So yeah, you just gotta put the link in. Now keep in mind, if one don't work, you can always use the other one, and it's gonna give you um your connection is a private. You just go to advanced, and um you just scroll you just scroll down. If it lets me scroll down, hold on. Oh, because I, I already did it, but it normally it say this advanced to continue on to the website, and then it should bring you to this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna press add choose file and just grab your um your downloaded file so I got the RetroArch but um keep in mind with RetroArch you'll need a dependencies that's why I downloaded the other link and then that's where this come in and then you just press start And it's gonna load up too. And then I also I also will put the link where I got my other um 
my other emulators from in the description so it'd be easier to find it I know death mode could be uh, could be tough to uh, navigate especially if you haven't used it before It should pop up. You just gotta wait until it's a um, installation complete. And yeah, it said package successfully registered. And if you scroll down, that'd be RetroArc right there. So after that, uh, one more thing that we gotta do is we got to go back to the xbox to um because there's some you have to do to make sure it plays right so back on retro art you press the um the the two windows button you know the i guess select button i don't know what it's called um i guess the view button and you go to view details and you want to set it to game reason why I say the game so that the app can work properly and that's really how you um, you can download and be layers and stuff on there um, like I said I put the link in the description so where I got all the other emulators from um, also it's kind of recommended you download safe exit so you won't have to worry about um, going to leave dev mode and you know you won't have to worry about that and all that it, it kind of um, bypass all that and it can get to your your retail easily yeah, but but yeah, that's pretty much it's pretty much an easy process.